hi guys in the previous lecture we have created this list and this section and now in this lecture we are gonna build this footer so first of all here I want to tell you something that this border this line is inside the footer this is the div we have given it the height and the background this is not the border this is the div and here I want to tell you another thing that this copyright text is in the separate div and it have the width 33 percent and these list these archive links and the support and this social list is in a separate div and that div have the 66 percent width and each list each div each list is placed in a separate div, this list in a separate div, this list in a separate div, and this list in a separate div. div. And every div have the width 25%. And now I'm going to create it. Here in the footer, we have to create this thing. And here, first of all, and here is the div and now here is the closing tag of the div and here is the class here is the container and now here we have to give another div and it have the class row so the content is not going to be mixed up and here is we have to give footer background and here increase it here it is too many one is extra and now in the footer background class we will give the background like this that is given to the section here we will also give here in the background of the footer and now here I'm gonna create another div and by using this div we will give this line this line and here is that div here is a div and here is the class and here is hr border 2 and here is its closing tag we will give it height and the background and then i'm gonna create a div which contain all of these things in a wrapper so wrapper is just for giving the overflow hidden properties and to wrap all the things all the divs here is the class here i'm going to give the wrapper and here is its closing tag and now here first of all i'm gonna place the first list that is a first div that contain this text and here is the div and here is its class is adjust 3 and now here I'm gonna place it anchor closing tag of the div and then here is the div class and it contain the wrap call here is the wrap call to create some distance and now in this div we have to type we have to create another div that contain this text here is i'm gonna paste it and here is its closing tag and here is its name is copyright copyright and now here in this we have to place this text and first of all I'm gonna create this C symbol so how to create this symbol to create this symbol we have to write and copy and then semicolon here we have to write and copy and then semicolon and here I'm gonna place that text so this text is in the strong here I'm gonna write strong here is the strong and now here we have to write the class footer logo here I want to tell you something 
that here this logo this agro plus logo is a text we have given it the passion one font and now this text is in the strong and now after this here I'm gonna create another div around this text here is the div here is the div and then here I'm gonna create a link anchor tag around it hyper reference and here is the hash and here is the anchor tag and now and now let's execute it but before this I'm gonna give the style to the wrapper to the HR border too and all the things first of all give the style to the HR border too copy it and then here I'm gonna give the style it here here is this this here we have to type background and here is gray background h3232 and here is the margin I'm gonna give the margin to the line and here is the margin of the 0, 0 and 20 pixel on the bottom side to create the distance like this here this distance on the bottom side of this div and here is the height of the div is 3 pixel so that's why it represent as a line and here I'm gonna render it and here is the line and here is the text so I'm also gonna give it the style then it will be okay and now here I'm gonna give the style to the wrapper I'm gonna give it properties here is at this spot here is this here give the overflow hidden and position relative so if anything moves so it will move according to the wrapper position and now I'm gonna give the style to the adjust 3 I'm gonna give it 33% width copy it and then here I'm gonna increase it and then increase from this side here is a 3 and here is 33.33% and here is adjust 3 and now it will be ok and here is I'm gonna give the style to the copyright div here let's pick it up and start giving it the style and before giving the style to the copyright div I'm gonna give the style to this footer here is I'm gonna give the style to this footer and then I will give the footer background here let's start here in the style after this we have to write footer here first of all I'm gonna give the color to the text that is inside the footer here is 7171 so it is just like gray type and then here I'm gonna give the font size to all the text that is inside the footer here is 12 pixel and then I'm gonna give the footer background by using the footer background class here it is and now here I'm gonna give the background URL here is the images and here is the body background dot GIF and then here I'm gonna give the padding to it here is a 0 for the top 20 pixel for the left 30 pixel for the bottom side and here is the 20 pixel for the right side and now here it is so now here you can see that it is little bit adjusted and here you can see that this is the line of the footer background it is just like a same color that is present here the same image that is present in the body in the section is here in the background 
and now I'm going to give the style to this copyright div. Here is the copyright div dot and then I'm going to increase the padding of the copyright div from the top side and here it is and now let's execute it so a space on the top side is in, is increased and now I'm going to give the style to the text here by using the footer logo class so a style is given to the agro plus here I'm gonna check it while the 2016 is outside the agro plus so I'm gonna write it here 2016 and now give the style to the footer logo and here it is write the font weight here is the font weight is normal and here is the font size 24 pixel and here we have to give the line height 30 pixel here is the font family passion 1 here is the passion one and then here is the color here is the hair 7171 here it is and then here is the margin 7 pixel 0 0 0 7 pixel margin is added on the top side of that text and here I'm gonna add the display inline block and now let's check it here is our and here you see that it now it is okay here is this so now here it is look like odd because we have not these things when we create this then it will be okay and now I'm gonna create the rest of this thing so here first of all after the closing tag of this adjust3 here it is here we have to create another div whose width is 66% and here I'm gonna create it here and it is must inside the wrapper here is the closing tag of the wrapper and here is the class and I'm gonna give it adjust4 and I will give it 66 percent width to contain all the four lists that is present here and now it is created and now here I'm gonna give it the width 66.6 here it is and now here I'm also gonna generate it float left and the display inline block here it is and here is the 4 and now here is this and inside this adjust 4 div uh, we will create 4 separate divs and the one div have the 25% width and in the first div we will place this list then the second will contain this third will contain this fourth will contain the social list and here is the div and here is the adjust 2 and here is the and here we have to give the div the class here is the wrap code here is the div and now here I'm gonna create the first list and here I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna create this heading here we have to place h5 here is the heading and in between this here is the text and here it is h5 
and now here we after this we have to create an unordered list and that unordered list contain these list items and here I'm going to create it here is the ul and here is the class here I'm going to give it footer list and footer list class and here it is the closing tag of the ul and here is the list items here is also the closing tags of the list item and here is the anchor tag anchor tag and here is the hyper reference and here I'm gonna write October 2016 and here I'm gonna increase it so now it is created and here I have put the same name but you can change the text it is so simple so here is the list and now I'm gonna give it the style we have already defined the width for the adjust to is 25% here you can see that 25% so now the main div have the 66% width and we will create four divs inside a single div and every div have the 25% width and now let's give the style to the footer list here I'm gonna copy it and then paste it here in the CSS file and this is the first one first of all I'm gonna give the style by giving the font size here is the font size is 12 pixel of the text and here is the line height is 18 pixel and then here is the padding is 0 pixel from the top 0 pixel from the left side 10 pixel from the bottom and the 18 pixel on the right side so the 10 pixel is on the bottom side here you see that the distance on the bottom side and here it is and now here I'm gonna give another thing that is the arrow in the list items here you see that this is the arrow and I will give these arrows here is by giving the background here is the URL here is images and here is the list one and here is the marker and dot gif and here is no repeat zero for the x-axis and six pixel for the y-axis and now here it is it is inserted only on the one here I'm gonna check it here we have to provide this style on the list item so we have missed it so that's why it looked like this so here is the padding is also apply and I will apply the rest of the styles in the next lecture I will complete it in the next lecture if you have any problem so kindly add the discussion I will help you as much as I can thank you for watching this video